arguably the most popular crab dish would have to be chilli mud crab. And whenever I'm lucky enough to go to Singapore, it's the first thing I do when I get off the aeroplane, get a big bowl of chilli mud crab. I just love it. And I also really love to make it at home for a special occasion. So this will feed about two to three people. This is a one kilogram mud crab. Now I have put it to sleep. So it's been in the fridge for at least 45 minutes. And you need to put the crab to sleep because it does have big claws. And also it's the most humane way of killing the crab. Now to prepare the crab. So after it's been put to sleep, we are going to turn it around. And this one I can tell is a male crab because of the V shape just here on the flap. We're going to remove that and the easiest way to start to break down the crab is to remove the top so we just need to tease it open. Now if it's a little tough and you're not that strong like I'm not just grab yourself a tea towel and you can see it's quite sharp on this side but all we need to do is just lift it just like that. See how that comes off quite easy with a bit of grip. Now this is so delicious. This is the tamale and I don't want to throw that out. It's going to give our sauce loads of flavour. So I'll just grab a spoon and pop that into the bowl. It gives it almost an extra umami flavour. Fabulous. And the presentation top can go into a bowl. Now all of these gills are inedible, so we need to take them off. They come off very easily, just pull them off. Now by all means, if you don't want to do this, you can ask your fishmonger to do it for you. But as you can see, it's not that hard to prepare. And I want to cut this into four segments. So a nice, sharp, sturdy knife will cut that straight through the body. So we've got two. And then this is the best part, the claws. There's so much meat in here. So we want to take that claw off just on an angle. You can see that the cartilage is quite soft, so the knife goes through it quite easily. And one claw. This is the second part. Loads of meat there. Look at that. Great Aussie mud crabs. They are the best in the world. And then the last side cuts through that and our crab is almost ready. Now, to get the meat out of the claws, we need to break them open. So just grab them again onto your board and you can either use the back of your knife or just use a meat mallet because they're so heavy. We just want to split them open and turn it around and do it on the other side too. See, we just got a little split there. Don't want to open it too much because that'll dry out the meat. We want the meat to cook in that shell. And the second claw. Turn it around and do it to the other side. Done. We'll pop that to the side. Let's get on to the sauce. So a bit of a clean down. We'll move this out of the way. Wipe my hands. And the sauce is all about balance. Lots of sweetness. You need ginger and garlic. You also need a really large wok. So I'm going to heat this up. Whenever you're wok frying, you want it to be nice and hot. And some vegetable oil, two tablespoons. Now I've chopped some garlic and some ginger, about a two centimetre piece of ginger, finely chopped. And instead of using fresh chilies, I like to use some chilli jam. It's fantastic because it also has some vinegar through it, some tomato paste, all of these flavours that are associated with chilli mud crab. So that's nice and hot now. Let's get frying. In with our ginger and our garlic. We'll add a tablespoon of this chilli jam and you do want to toast it off with our garlic and our ginger. You want to keep mixing this so you can see that my chilli jam is going up the sides of my wok. So we're getting a nice even cook. And when it starts to split, we can go on to the next ingredient. So I'm going to add some crushed tomato, about half a can of crushed tomato. We want to cook that off. And the traditional way of doing this is to include some good old tomato sauce, dead horse. We'll add that for the sweetness. And it's also going to help thicken this up. 
and give us a nice sheen. And some chicken stock, just a splash. And we want to cook this down for about two to three minutes. I'm lucky enough, my wok has a lid, so lid goes on. We'll cook that for a few minutes before continuing. All right, these tomatoes have cooked down, so let's add our crab so it can start poaching. The claws can go in first. And then the other little bits. Oh, look at that rich sauce. Just coat it in the sauce. Turn it over. And finally, the top can go in there too, just to steam and change colour. Some soy sauce, so a splash of soy sauce. And some black vinegar, not traditional. But this is my chilli crab recipe and I love the black vinegar in it. Lid can go back on and we're going to cook this for about five to eight minutes maximum. You'll know that it's cooked because the crab will completely change colour. It will go bright orange. Okay, this crab has been cooking for about five minutes. It's always very handy to have a little peaky hole here. I know it's ready, so we'll take that lid off. Dun da da da! Ah, that is awesome. It smells so good in here. So, before we start plating this up, I want to take the crab out and finish the sauce off. So, we'll take the presentation cap out. Look at these big, heavy claws. You know there's a lot of meat in it when it's very heavy like that. And look how beautiful that sauce is. A nice rich red colour. Excellent. Now we can add the tamale. So if you feel a little bit uncomfortable about adding this, just don't. We'll mix that in. So thick and rich. It's going to get even thicker now because I'm going to add an egg. So we'll crack one egg into a bowl. Just with a fork, give it a good whisk. And now as the egg cooks in this sauce, it transforms into little egg floss-like strands, which is a really nice texture in this. So we'll just pour that slowly in and then mix at the same time. Don't have this rapidly boiling, just have this at a low heat and slowly incorporate that egg. And that is our sauce done. So I'm going to pour this gorgeous sauce out of my wok straight onto the presentation plate. Spread it out. And we really want to show off the sauce, so just spread it roughly to the sides and with our tongs we can start building in the centre and presenting our crab. Top there. Show off that big claw. And the crab top, the crowning glory mud crab. It's so exciting but in a chilli sauce like this it's just so delicious. Some spring onions will just pop in and around and in true Singaporean style some brioche buns or any sweet style bun. This is like crucial because you take a bite of the crab you make a lot of mess with your hands of course and then all of that sauce is mopped up with some sweet bread. I'm going to do the opposite way. I'm going to taste this delicious sauce first before I get into that crab. Oh, mm. that right there is magic on a plate. I love this. And if you can't get to Singapore, don't worry. Bring Singapore to your house. <laughs>